Welcome back. Google has introduced a new tracking protection feature as part of the company's long-term plan to phase out third-party cookies. Professor of Advanced Media and Residence at the Newhouse School of Public Communications, Shelley Palmer, our good friend, he's here to explain what this means for your online activity. So, Shelley, does this mean if I'm looking for some boots for a nice hot date, I won't see those personalized ads every other website I go on? Don't you wish? Wouldn't that be awesome yeah. if they weren't following you around the entire internet all the time? Well, as it turns out, that's not going to be the case. Um, tracking protection sounds great. This has been threatened for a long time. 3.2 billion people around the internet use uh, Chrome as their browser. And just to give you some sizing, Safari, the next most popular browser, only has 576 million users. So this is pretty much everybody. And what cookies do is they're little bits of code that websites drop on your hard drive so that people can know who you are and yes Tashani, when the ad follows you all around it's because you've got a third party cookie so google's going to kill them and they're going to start by uh introducing this feature to about one percent about 30 million random users and they're going to see if people like the privacy better now unfortunately they're still going to cluster and classify you into like oh Tashani likes designer shoes um so I'm not sure that all the third party cookie death is going to really help the ads not follow you, but it's a step in the right direction to give you a little more privacy. This is a big deal because so many people use Chrome. Shelly, is Google late to this party? They're very late. Safari and Firefox have been doing this for a long time, but they're insignificant, you know, from a size perspective, right? This is the internet. Chrome is the internet. It's literally 3.2 billion users. So when they end third-party cookies, this, uh, and I think this is important, you know, this sounds like, oh, okay, so some new tech. Google is all powerful and they control the flow of your data. And just to be clear, every time you sit at your keyboard, every key click, unless you've turned off your history, every single thing you do on your computer, Google tracks. So they're still going to track it. They're just going to make it impossible for third parties to get to it without talking to Google. So it would be good. We can't cover all of it today, but just understand Google's starting to test it. They're going to phase out third party cookies by the end of 2024. And this is a big change in the way you and your privacy exist on the internet take a few minutes to learn a little bit about it all right Shelly I have so many questions but I'm just going to end it on this note so they are randomly selecting one percent of users can you talk about what they can expect if they are chosen it could be Rob or myself mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be, and it, it'd be all kinds of fun. They're going to notify the 1% of the users and say, hey, you know, you're gonna, we're going to test, and then they'll test. You won't really feel a difference, right? Nobody's going to know the difference. Uh, that's the part about this, and this is why I brought it up. I want everybody to know this is happening, and when it happens, your privacy is going to be enhanced in one way, in that you'll be more protected, but it's going to be in Google's control in another way because they're going to have a lot more to say about what ads you get shown. So please take a few minutes to learn about tracking protection. It's part of Google's privacy sandbox and if you're selected you'll be notified and again it's not going to be a, a big change on your computer on that day or the way you see ads but over time by the end of 24 this will be a big deal so since we all use our computers and our phones every day let's pay attention. Shelley always good info great to see you as per usual, thank you so much. Yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Shelly. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all that to you guys, too. We'll yeah. see you soon. Thank you. See ya.